Minecraft revealed the next mob that you guys can vote for. Hello there, Ray here. Let's take a look at this new mob and talk about how we could change the game for you. I don't remember this being here. Are you sure this is a shortcut to Minecraft Live? Absolutely. I'll prove it. So it starts out with them continuing on their journey to Minecraft Live. They first came across the crab that we've seen in the last video. Now they all of a sudden came across this island here, which Jeb says he doesn't remember being here. This is the armadillo, one of the mobs that wants to join Minecraft. So then Jens jumps in this boat and starts rowing across the land. You can see not only does it go all day, it goes all night and back to day again. And then he bumps across the next new mob, which is the armadillo. Now in the Americans, we do have the nine band armadillo, which does live in the lower United States, Central America, as well as much of South America. Do you consider an armadillo to be cute? This one here looks pretty adorable. This means the supposed leak that we talked about yesterday, where there was a screenshot of a playlist that showed that we're gonna get the mobs crabs, jellyfish, as well as seagull. And since we know the second mob is an armadillo, this playlist is probably fabricated. And as a couple of you guys pointed out in my comments in the last video, when it came to the title of the Minecraft video for the crab, compared to the one that's in the playlist, notice the one in this image here has a capital C for the crab, but the one in the official Minecraft playlist here has a lowercase c. And I did point out quite a few other things that point out that this image could be easily faked. Also, you can see in this playlist, if this playlist is like a normal one, what you'd expect is the top video here to be the next one that comes up in order. So the first mob should have actually been the seagull, but instead it was the crab. And in theirs, they have the crab as the last mob that's going to be shown, but it was instead the first. But they actually did still do quite well, as they did actually guess one of the three mobs would be a crab. But one of my viewers actually did guess armadillo before they actually came out. These two people just <laughs> put their comments in right after the armadillo video was released. But this video here is actually before it, and they're saying it's not seagull and jellyfish, Ray. Instead, it's crab, penguin, and lastly, armadillo. Now, they did say that armadillo is going to be last, and we currently have it as being second one that they showed. So, are they onto something? Is the third one going to be a penguin? What do you think? Now, the armadillo does fall into the category of cute animals, which we learned earlier that Jeb said that each of the three mobs are going to be all animals that are cute. And just like the crab, it gives us a special claw, which we can use to reach further. Armadillo has something to offer as well. It lives in warm places, like this savanna biome. The armadillo drops skewed, which can be used to craft armor for your wolf. This will give your favorite four-legged friend some extra defense against hostile mobs. So armadillos will drop scute, but then those can be crafted to make armor for your dogs. This would be really cool, even though the dog does have 20 health, just like the player, they can easily lose all their health when they're fighting hostile mobs for you. So making some armor and putting it on them would make them live a lot longer, then you wouldn't also have to feed them as often to keep them from dying. Now their health is indicated by the tail, so when the tail is upwards like this, it means that they are full health, but if you go ahead and damage them, you can see the tail slowly moves downwards. And when it gets almost all the way down to the bottom, that's when it will die. Now, unlike other armor in the game where there's different tiers, when it comes to the actual dog armor, since it's only be built using the armadillo scute, there's only gonna be one type of armor. Kind of like there's only one type of turtle shell. This is a little bit different than horses and horse armor, as we can actually craft the leather horse armor and when you put on the horse armor, you can actually see it. It's one big solid piece, unlike the player, which has a bunch of little pieces. But the horse armor is different because it does have different tiers, like you can get iron, gold, as well as diamonds, which you can't craft, but you can find them from the looting chest. Now, although when the horse is wearing the armor, you can't actually see how much it's helping it, but there's actually invisible armor pieces, just as if the player would wear armor. It shows up as these little armor pieces. And for the horse, the leather one provides three, iron five, gold seven, with diamond giving the most of 11, with the player having a total of 20 armor slots. And the armor pieces on the horses actually do help the horse take less damage. So the same thing would apply to the dog, but we only have one type of armor. Now I did show this cool trick in this video here where you can actually get dogs infinite regen and other crazy effects so they actually never really die. 
but that trick doesn't work in the newest versions, so you have to deal with your dog getting low health and potentially dying if you're not constantly there feeding it. So hopefully their armor does a lot of defense, that way you don't have to worry about feeding them so often. Because if it's just a little bit, it's just not going to be really worth it. Especially if you have to go after Armadillo and wait for them to drop scutes and then craft it just to help your dog out a little bit more. How strong do you think the Armadillo scutes will actually be? Now I use dogs in quite a few of my different farms, like here is my skeleton or stray farm. And I have one of my dogs sitting in here just so. So when skeletons fall down into here, they will take a bunch of damage so they're very low health. And then the trapdoor will open up and the dog will see them. Then he'll uh, get mad at them because they attack skeletons and he will kill them with one hit. And the skeleton won't be able to shoot back because by that time it's already dead. This is a great way so you can get player loot and also get XP's, including even getting a rare chance of getting armor or even diamond armor. Now with a setup like this, we don't have to worry about the dog actually taking any damage unless there is a skeleton who's wearing Thorn's armor. In which case, I'm not sure if the dog wearing armor would actually protect it from Thorn's anyways. Now my simple Wither Skeleton farm, which also makes up my larger beacon farm, uses a wolf down here that is tamed, and that way you get the actual Wither Skeleton skulls from the Wither Skeletons, all while not having to even be here as a player. Which is one of the huge perks that dogs offer, killing stuff as if the player was doing it. Or typically, if the player was here, you'd have to sit here with the auto clicker to actually kill the Wither Skeletons. For the dog, you don't need any third party program. The downside is the dogs don't actually apply looting effect like the player would. Now, I was originally discovered that you could put looting onto a fox and came up with the first looting farm using foxes. But remember, foxes aren't actually considered pets to the player. So they don't actually give you loot that only comes from players like the Wither Skeleton Skulls. Now Yen specifically said that this armor is just for the wolf, even though later on he does say four-legged friend, which would mean it wouldn't apply to like foxes or other things like cats. And I use them in other farms of mine like the first automatic blaze farm using wolves. But the armor is only going to reduce the damage that the wolves would take over time and wouldn't actually stop it. So it's not a permanent solution to the wolf taking damage and wouldn't solve one of the main reasons why we don't use wolves in more farms is because they eventually typically die due to mobs having thorns armor. What other uses could dogs be used for? Speaking of enchantments, could you actually put enchantments onto the dog's armor? Now you can't do this when it comes to horse armor, so maybe the same thing will apply to the dog's armor, but they could always change this in the future. Enchantments would make it a lot more powerful because you could put protection on it, or you could even put thorns on the dog's armor, so anything that attacks it will actually get damaged even more. Do you think they should add enchantments to horse armor? What about dog armor if it gets added? And similar to the crab, when they show the armadillo, they just show it dropping a skewt. They don't act like you have to kill it in order to get the skewt. And as we've seen with the turtle, we don't actually kill turtles to get to their turtle shells or their skewts, but instead we just wait for the baby turtle to grow up into adult turtle, in which case it drops one skewt. Here they just show the armadillo walking past, and when it does, it just drops off one of its skewts. So it might be similar to like the chicken laying an egg, it just drops one off every once in a while. But since it is like an animal, very similar to like other passive mobs, maybe when you breed it up as a baby and when it grows into an adult, it will shed off one skewt, just like we see with the turtles. Not because the armadillo just drops a skewt, it would probably be very similar to like my turtle farm, where I have turtles sitting in a pen, then I have the player AFKing breeding them, they, which would produce babies, the babies then grow up, and then we collect all the skewts. Otherwise, we could just have them like a chicken farm where you just wait and pick them up if they drop them, just on a timer. Armadillos also have the cool feature of kind of rolling up in a ball. Would be cool to see in game a mob that kind of curls up. It probably wouldn't actually be too extreme. Maybe a little bit something like how we see with shulkers opening and closing. Now Jens also mentions that the armadillo lives in warm places like savannas. There's not too many different mobs that are unique to the Minecraft savanna biomes. So it would be cool to see one that you can only find in this biome. But just before he says savannah, he says warm biomes like savannah. So maybe they'll also be in other types of warm biomes. So maybe they would live in other warm biomes like jungles in Minecraft. Or like the sparse jungles, which have a little bit more room for them to move about. What biomes do you think they'll be in? I am not lost. <laughs> but do you know the way to Minecraft Live? Do you want the armadillo to join Minecraft? Huh? Voting opens on October 13th at 1 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, and you'll have 48 hours to cast your vote. 
Now they also came out with a Minecraft article which repeats the same stuff that we've seen in the video and reminds us that voting starts October 13th going to the 15th. So comparing the armadillo scoot which will be made into wolf armor with the crab's claw which players can use to be able to place blocks farther than normal there is a big difference in how these are going to be used in the game. Armadillo scoot is only going to be used really early game or mid game where people have wolves as pets as they are traveling about but once settled down then there is not as much reason for that where the crab claw is not only going to be used in the early game it's also going to be used all the way to the end game. Now because of this I am definitely on the crab side when it comes to voting compared to armadillo we still got the third mob which we don't know what's going to be potentially a penguin which might completely flip the vote just because penguins are so cute and so many people love penguins. Which one do you think is better, the crab or the armadillo? Or are you holding out to see what the third is? Now see all the farms I was talking about in this playlist here. And I'm probably live streaming right now so check me out over at Twitch where I'm always doing some crazy Minecraft breaking thing. And big thanks to all my supporters here on screen and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye bye!